Gizmodo covering Andre Carpathy and the headline, which is a bit misleading, is even the inventor of vibe coding says vibe coding can't cut it. Carpathy came up with the term vibe coding earlier this year. He coined the term. We'd been using AI to help with coding prior to this, but he's the guy who came up with the term and he was one of OpenAI's co-founders. He also has a fantastic YouTube channel. He has a couple of very good videos on that. If you go onto AIwithkyle.com, scroll to the bottom, there's an AI learning guide and it includes his trilogy, the Carpathy trilogy. So make sure you check them out. This article on Gizmodo is saying that even the inventor of the term vibe coding says vibe coding can't cut it. This is misleading. It's been over a year since OpenAI co-founder Andre Carpathy exited the company. In the time since he's been gone, he coined and popularized the term vibe coding. I think it was back in February, March to describe the practice of farming out coding projects to AI tool. Earlier this week, he released his own open source model called NanoChat. He admitted that he wrote the whole thing by hand, vibes be damned. It's bizarre seeing Gizmodo tech publication being anti-tech. <laughs> Let me put it up on screen. So NanoChat is a very efficient model you can deploy locally. So NanoChat, according to Carpathy, is a minimal, from scratch, full stack training and influence pipeline that allows you to feed in your own data and create chat GPT style interface in a matter of hours and for as little as $100 in training costs. Carpathy said the project contains about 8,000 lines of clean code. This is Andre Carpathy being modest. He's extremely smart. He wrote by hand because AI tools couldn't do what they needed. Quoting Carpathy, it's basically entirely handwritten with tab autocomplete. I tried to use Claude slash Codex engines a few times, but they just didn't work well enough at all and net unhelpful. That's a very different attitude than what Carpathy has projected in the past to describe vibe coding as best for throwaway weekend projects. In the origin of vibe coding, Carpathy said when using AI coding tools, he chose to fully give in to the vibes and not bother looking at the code. When I get an error message, I copy paste them with no comment, usually fixes it. The code grows beyond my comprehension. I have to really read through it for a while. Sometimes the LLMs can't fix a bug, so I work around it or ask for changes until it goes away. <laughs> I'm building a project or web app. I run and copy paste stuff and it mostly works. That is vibe coding. It's Modo's article. Andre Carpathy came up with vibe coding, clean coded by hand, his new large language model tool, NanoChat. They're saying he's a fraud and hypocritical because he's still coding by hand. This misses the point entirely, and I'm really surprised Gizmodo's putting out nonsense like this. We can use vibe coding to create things we've already created before. If we want to create a web app, put together software, it's fantastic for that. 